Baron's Bar, 1231 p.m. All right, let's go and see what this place has. They've opened up bars. Gents, drink. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. This is about Teresa Terrelson? <laughs> yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? God damn it. Yeah, you know, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Last contact with victim. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around uh, 10.30, I think. Ah, no reason to doubt him. Oh, he was telling the truth. On foot, in a car, by bus, how was it? She called for a cab. Did you <laughs> get the number? Impatient sure starter, special D&D. Like yeah, it's going to be good, I'm looking forward to it. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. Sam's taking the other Palm Springs for the weekend. Ooh. Note. Put out an APB on the cab. 3591. Should be traceable. Alright. Oh, we need to talk to this guy again now. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums in here. But nothing to fit that description. Oh, no, he's, he's shaking. Yeah, uh, The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give mm -hmm. it up, Benny. All right, two creeps were all over her, promising to take her dancing. You get a good look at these guys? Excuse me. Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor oh, in uniform. His cap said, uh, USS Indiana. And the other man? The other guy is Richard oh. Bates. He's sitting in the back oh, let's right talk now. To him. Red polo shirt. Yellow cap 3591. Any idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. You did, didn't you? You're blinking. You're blinking. I'm going for it. Oh, sorry. She was murdered, Benny. Brutally murdered. If you like this lady, you should give us something. You telling me I'm not cooperating? Watch it, pal. Yeah. Thank you for your help, Mr. Clark. We'll take it from here. <laughs> hey, no problem. My experience as, an ins as a detective this is Bates. will help me. As a bounty hunter. That's him. Okay. LAPD. Don't make me uh, change. Boy, why did you say that? You can't let the son of a bitch get away. Go, I'm trying to get after it. Got a ride. Get in and drive. There he is, officer. I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered? We could have a killer on our hands. Come on, Phelps, you're letting this lust get away from you. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the dick in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticklers for routine. There he is. Get back here. Phelps, you gotta get me closer. Cole, spin him out. I'll work on that. He's showing you how it's done. Oh, shut up, Rusty. Maybe you shouldn't have waited for me, Phelps. Come on, we're gaining on him. We're gaining on him. Hit him. Clean this asshole off the road. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish there we go, we got him. I'm trapped by a lamppost. <laughs> oh, and the car's on fire. Put your hands where I can see them. Okay, Bates. You're going to answer mm -hmm. some questions. I have a no, you don't. You really don't. Last night, you went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead, and your face is all messed up. I'm in the clear on that. She preferred a sailor. You could lay it off on him. 
Are we finished? <sighs> I don't believe him. Do you want my partner, <laughs> Seth? You? Tell us what wow. we want to know. She was okay. Drunk. Pissed off at her old man, wanting to go dancing. I thought I'd ply her with a few drinks and get my end away. Looks like your salty had the same idea. A counter movements. So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that, I don't know. Hey. You've done time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual oh assault. Look, I was lying there on the sidewalk. He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. Is that it? But... We're taking you in, Bates. How come? Just for a <laughs> chat. Nice private chat. I'll explain my theory of once a degenerate, <laughs> a degenerate. Got one guy. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows <laughs> the drill. Richard. That's the kind of questioning Scar likes. Right, there's a phone somewhere. Where's this phone? Oh, it's there. Uh, ah, and over. You see, he got over a fence, but you can get over a lamppost. Operator, give me R and I. Oh, this is for the cab, probably. Putting you through now. Phelps uh -oh. badge, twelve forty-seven. Really? How could I help, detective? I need an APB out on a yellow cab, number thirty-five ninety-one. Ask dispatch to relay all sightings to car eleven K. No problem. I'll get on the radio. Were there any incident reports filed in the vicinity of Barron's Bar on North Beaudry Avenue? We're tracking a sailor who was involved in a fight outside the bar. I can check the Looks reports, okay. detective. I have a message for you from Captain Donnelly. Message reads, James Jessup, U.S. Navy Able Seaman, has information relevant to your case. There's a lot of crashing going on around there. currently being detained at Central Station. Could be our man. Thanks for your help. Right, so... I really should go to the camp. I haven't been there yet. That's still hanging around on my list. You're driving. You drive. I need to go over the case now. I notes. really need to go here. And where exactly are we going? I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. Well, if you think we ought to, then I guess hmm. we ought. I just want to clear it out of my location list. I'm not expecting much from it. Hello there. We're looking for a tall man with a disfigured face. You know him? Huh? <laughs> what? I fought in two wars, you know, son. I think I earned some peace and quiet. Ah, the bum isn't here. You should follow the only lead. These guys can wait. Belts, leave okay. him be. Let's carry on with what we're doing. Can you drive to this station? One? Fine. Where are we headed? One twenty past one, and it's still pitch black out there. He's oh, in thank interview you. too. Thanks. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough, who looks like he's in trouble and knows. Very well, it. let's find him. I say we bust in there and find the guy. Interview um, one. I want to make sure. One. Side. You know you make it if you can get that. Oops, sorry, need to go this way. Interview two is this way. Yes, yeah, this way. Here, there we are. Hello there. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. We know why you're here, Jessup. So it would be best if you answered our questions truthfully. I don't want any trouble. That's why I'm here. I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight <laughs> away. So why did you kill her? I didn't kill anyone. 
Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. So, might be on Creative Verse after your stream been a while since you saw on Creative Verse. Yeah, I just haven't gotten around to it really. I haven't got around to Minecraft either. You went to Baron's Bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24 hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. I don't believe you at all, but I don't think I've got any proof that you're lying. Just go straight so for that. So you tried to make a woman who was incredibly drunk? Look, I'm not proud of myself, but I never hurt her. You took her dancing? That's right. You caught a cab to the Crystal Ballroom. Instant with Bates. You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. Yes, you we met have. the guy? He's a creep. You should take a look at him for this. Oh, believe me, we will do. But, I don't... Yeah. He's pointing the finger directly at you, Jessup. I only had one night before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. What's Rusty I do doing? It again. She was better off with me. Sure. You're <laughs> a shining example of chivalry, Jessup. We're holding you till we can clear this with the driver. Yeah, my CO said as much. Can you put the guy in two in a cell and inform the commander? Sure, detective. I'm out of leads. I'm no longer out of leads. Sighting of your disfigured hobo on Grand between Temple and Sunset. And it looks like the bow has a record, too. He's wanted in connection with two female assaults. Thanks. Let's go find him. That's the wrong way. This is the right way. You know the way. You Back can to here. And where exactly are we going? Three suspects in the can and one on the hoof. And still no hard evidence on any of them. That's weird. KGPL to car 11K. 11K. This is 11K. 11K, go ahead. Patrolman reporting that Bobby Ross's car game is breaking up at midnight. 11K, roger that. Only have time to get downtown, Cole. It's possible. Have them bring him in. KGPL, could we have Lars Carrollson picked up? Ooh. 11K, Roger. So the husband's back in the frame. I know. I thought London was grey and overcast sometimes, but this is like middle of the night. Pitch black, 24 tw hours. Why has he got a big gun? Why is he carrying a big gun? Is there going to be shootings? LAPD! We'd like a word with you! Save it for someone who's interested. They're fascists! Come to move us on and steal what little we have left! Six rounds won't get us far. We need you to stay copacetic. We need to hold out to the cavalry. How do we do that? Like this. Oh, ah! Fuck off, keep you down, son. If you want your These men know they're share, harboring a murderer. We need to. Come on, you. The filthy hands off me, you bum. He's down. Yep, stuff is going What's down. What's your name? Comrade Stalin. <laughs> Very funny. We'll find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You. You can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have I was in the Japanese done. war. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's investigate this place. The Kremlin's over here, Phil. Ah, Boss, another paper. I haven't seen one of these for a while. Still working, Jack. Oh, it's Jack Kelso. I'm off to the Lighthouse Club in Santa Monica. It's Hello. Courtney Sheldon. Mr. Vincent, this is Courtney Sheldon. 
He's a buddy of mine. Hello, Yana. Oh, How are I'm you? I'm sure you two will want to polish some old war Good stories. to see you. Good evening, Jack. How Mr. are things Joel. with you? Good night, sir. Take a seat, Courtney. We need your help, Jack. Why are you guys I talking you about showers on there? <laughs> I'm fine too, Jack. Medical school's going well. I got a part-time job. Do dope peddlers need part-time jobs? <laughs> we made a mistake and we're in trouble, Jack. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen, is putting on the squeeze. So hand it over, walk away. What's stopping you? We had a deal with them that they would dole it out slowly. They said they would supply abortion clinics and doctors, but they've been moving it on to addicts. And they Actually. can't cope with the purity. So your problem is with gangsters being dishonest. My problem is that people are dying and that if this gets back to us, we'll all end up in jail. So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? Damn. This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess. We want you to negotiate, Jack. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. They got to the top back east by proving to be more vicious than the Here English, the Irish, go. and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the Present nature for of the society. <laughs> I'd say, Courtney, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? We are better trained. Ooh, are we back to the normal? I didn't make <laughs> it for the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. Who's Grandfather Winchester? Which one? 